Hey everybody, Prof Sales. And Karen. Coming at you with, I guess what you would call is a haul video. Ugh. It's not your, it's a Prof non-haul video. It's a Prof non-haul video that looks suspiciously like a haul video. So as we mentioned on the show a couple days ago, we actually went to the bins on, I guess it was the day after Christmas or, no, it was the day, it was New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. Or the day before New Year's, New Year's Eve Day, we'll get that right. And we met up with a couple other resellers. We went through the bins again. So this is our second trip to the bins. And we wanted to share with you what we found, what we paid for everything, and what we think we'll make with it. Um, and just kind of talk about the bins experience and all. So how was the bins experience for you, Karin? Awesome. <clears throat> I think we did great. It was uh, uh, funny how we got almost the exact same weight, right? Yep. 39.2 pounds. This time, or 30? Vice anyway, versa, one of the two. It they was 39 were... something pounds, right? Um, yeah, I liked it. It was very crowded, lots of resellers there. So I made a point to get in their way a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so we bought a total of 34 items, which really wasn't that many. Um, but we were looking for primarily jeans and other things, but mainly jeans. And we found 23 pairs of jeans, which I'm not going to go through the jeans because the jeans are kind of bread and butter. But we thought we would go through some of these other items and tell you what we we uh, we think we'll get for them. Um, we paid a dollar seventy-two per item, is what it worked out to, which is pretty good, don't you think? And um, all right, so and, and Karen found some stuff for her too, maybe. Imagine that. Yeah, that's the benefit or detriment to bringing me on shopping trips because. There's a car in pile. <laughs> All right, so what do we got up first? Well, you talked about we got, first we just have this stack of jeans, right? 23 right. pair? 23 pair of jeans. Uh, pretty good. Um, and we, towards the end, we picked up um, men's jeans in particular, we don't find as often. So when we do and they're in good shape, we like to snatch them up. Mm -hmm. um, but almost back to back, I got two pair of big stars for men. Nice. Um, this one in particular I liked because it's a, I don't know, for lack of better, it's not one of them fancy <coughs> pants kind of jeans. Um, they're just a standard blue. I mean, they're a sharp pair of men's pants. I like them. Yeah. Oh, are you looking to see if they're your size? No, it's just, look, well, maybe, you know, uni, uh, union We've not fit. had this one before. No, I don't think we have. No. Nope. So we won't throw those over my shoulder. There's 21 more there. Uh, we could do the car and pile. I won't model them, but it'll be close enough. And one quick thing on the jeans, guys. We found 23, and we expect to net 298 on those. Which, just to give you an idea, if those were um, we bought at the regular Goodwill for five bucks, we would have expected to net a bit less. Mm -hmm. um, we would expect it to net maybe uh, 23, maybe 200. So we probably put nearly a hundred dollars more in our pocket by buying them at the bins. Hmm. So, Karin's fashion show starts off with this lovely Banana Republic tank top. Thanks, and I, Bananas. And I picked it up because it was lightweight in awesome shape. They really don't sell for much, um, maybe 5 to $10, so that's not a big loss. Um, but I'm going to keep this one. Um, some funky White House black market jeans that just were kind of cool looking. We don't typically sell those. No. And my thought was that we might because they've got all these little pleather embellishments on the pockets and the legs and then cool. here's a zipper thingy that's kind of cool um, yeah but they were just different so there you go that goes in the car and pile the car and pile um this is a worthington sweater i don't have very many sweaters for whatever reason so grab that thinking we could sell it if it doesn't fit but it looks like it's probably going to fit so there you go another car and pile we'll and get then, to something we're actually going to sell here in a moment no and then this is a perry ellis <laughs> um turtleneck it's just black, and what girl doesn't need a black turtleneck cable sweater? Agreed. Okay, so that's enough of that. Um, let's just start right here, and we'll save the, the biggies for last. So we'll typically grab anything at the bins, especially that's new with tags and right. WT. Good tip. Uh, so <clears throat> if you see anything uh, like low-hanging fruit, if you will, but just sort of you can even glance at a rack when you're in a Goodwill to see if any tags any are, tags are yep. sticking out. and. Uh, that's always a bonus. So we got a brand new pair of Dockers, spiffy work Dockers. 
how do, how do these work? We do these so infrequently. I don't know. You want to see the tag? Trust me, pair of Dockers. Whatever. <laughs> um, and here's a pair of Dickies. New with tags. Oh, look at that. Ooh. The, the docker should net about 11 bucks, we think, with a $15 sale price plus shipping. And the dickie is probably somewhere around 12 bucks with a $16 price. Somewhere in there. Okay. Another new with tags is this lovely... Um, Hilo. Hilo. Is it Hilo or Hilo? I think it's Hilo. Okay. But anyway, it's this Hawaiian <clears throat> shirt. It's a kid's shirt, though. They don't go for as much, but the brand is really good. Um... So yeah. there you go. They're a great little shirt. Probably about ten bucks, with maybe we'll net around six seventy-five, which is still, you know. We're trying to, as we're going to the bends, um, also we're going to start looking more towards shorts and skirts, uh, because for how much did we pay per unit? Like a dollar something. Dollar seventy-two. Um, it would. It, we just have to get them. You know, at our Goodwill, um, a little skirt like this James skirt, for example. Um, is going for what four and a half bucks? Whatever. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Yeah. So that doesn't make sense to us. For you know, just under two dollars, this does make sense. And this is a nice little, like I said, James button fly skirt. Right. James jeans are nice to sell too. We think that skirt will go for maybe around um, fifteen bucks. So almost a twelve dollar profit. Not bad. This is a live a little denim jacket. Uh, I'll show you the label on it so you can see. Um, this one will probably go, oh, well, there's the little label. That's more big box store. Um, and then it has these lovely little eyelets that close it. Um, so it's like a faux button on the outside. Nice. Um, but this was delightful, so we had to pick up. Yeah, just about anything denim will catch our attention. Uh, so we'll grab it. That's probably around $20, we figure, with maybe a $15.50 net. Yep. So, pretty good. Uh, anytime we see a larger size pant shirt or otherwise, we try to snatch it up as well. This is a lovely Tommy Hilfiger uh, button down long sleeve XXL. 2X. Da, 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 da. Should sell for maybe around 12 bucks, maybe even a little more. Um, have to see if that particular one, it's, it's a nice bright color, but 12 bucks brings about an 850 net. Jason picked up <clears throat> this lovely little Adidas sports number. I know, I thought um, it was pretty cool looking. Yeah, it's really cool. See, Ooh. and it's got and it's in really pristine shape. What size was it? Oh, I don't care. Honey badger, don't. Okay, so large. Large. I could even wear it. You could if you want to. It's got pockets, a zip up. It's really mm -hmm. made very, very well. The pockets even zip. Oh, you might want to reconsider charging more for it. Well, um, I thought it might go for around sixteen bucks. Hmm. Um. So with a $12 net, maybe a little more. Maybe we can push it to $20. we will see. I, I don't know. I'm not a big um, expert on track jackets, athletic jackets, and so on. So. so this hasn't been so bad so far, has it? Nope, You're not too bad. It? I'm living yeah. through it. Can't so believe it. We saved the best for last. And like I said, anything denim, we try to grab. Um, and we were getting ready to leave. Everybody was waiting in line as usual, except for me. She was still shopping, shopping till she dropping. New hashtag, maybe. So this just caught my eye and I fell in love with it. So at first I saw the denim, then I saw the seven fam. You know, it's not an A pocket, so I thought Jason just wouldn't go for it. But then I kept pulling, 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 and it kept coming, coming, coming and it was this skirt and you're not going to be able to see it in full probably i could stand up i guess but then you'd notice that my yoga pants are on inside out we'll tell you that story later i went out in public <laughs> all right so here's the skirt it keeps going and going and going it's absolutely gorgeous it's probably as long as i am tall being vertically challenged and all it's a tall skirt um, but it's skirt. absolutely lovely and we you know thinking that maybe it wasn't real or if it even matters. I think we talked about this one in particular, um, that maybe it got put together, but I think this is how it came. It's absolutely beautiful and probably the big find for the pile that day. Oh wait, some of those jeans, did they, what happened to the jeans that came from the boutique? They were in a brown bag. Where's the brown bag? Oh, it's uh, in there. We didn't bring it in. Oh, wow. Really? So that's another part of our Ben's trip, though. Honestly, yeah. we got to count. So um, these, this skirt will go for $50 to $60. Um, and nice. it, again, it cost us maybe 
less than two. So, so that's a net of about 42 bucks. Not bad on one. Not right bad. <laughs> it would be nice if we could find more, more than that. Yeah, we'll just have to see. I mean, we'll more we'll, like that. We'll document the condition. We also bought um, seven pair of jeans at the, the this particular outlet has a little section off to the the front. It's kind of like their love section. Where well, we called it the love shop, right? The as love opposed shop. to the love shack. Shack. No, Baby. the love rack. Love shack. No, don't quit your um, day job. So. Those were just regular jeans for five bucks. They had a bunch of jeans in there that were priced really high, like, you know, $10, $15, $20, and I'm going, ugh. But they just yeah. had some regular, long. they were actually longs too, which was great mm -hmm. because longs sell really well and they sell for a little bit more. So call that another um, $70 maybe of profit there, um, somewhere, somewhere in that neighborhood. So all told, if my math is right, Counting those and counting what we just showed you guys, we should be looking at a net profit of somewhere around four hundred and eighty-seven dollars. So almost five hundred bucks for what two hours? About two hours, but we'll still, but we still got the time on the back end to to list and photograph and mm -hmm. so on. Um, you know, but still a pretty good, pretty good hourly rate. I think probably will push out to around fifty bucks an hour. I would guess, even yeah. counting both our times. So that's two trips to the bins now. Have you? Are you a changed man? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a believer yet. Oh come on. <laughs> I am a believer, and one thing we did talk about was that as summer as summer comes on, we will be you know transitioning to short sleeves and shorts and things like that. And man, those of the bins will be super cheap. I mean, I think a pair of shorts would probably come out around about a buck. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually. Yeah, probably around a dollar in terms of our bins. And of course they could ship first class in a lot of cases because they'll be under a pound. So there's definitely some money to be made there with shorts, I think. Yep, I think so too. Going into the summertime. Um, but so we need to be thinking about that in the next two or three months probably as we start transitioning. But obviously we're still in the cold weather. People are still thinking about cold weather. And cold weather clothes you know, spring lines really haven't hit the retail stores yet, although they will be soon, just in a couple weeks probably. But, you know, it's just a good, I think it was a, another good trip, Tony. I mean, that's probably probably about $800 worth of profit between the two trips maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I think it's, I, I, I like going there. And what I think I like most of all is it just illustrates that there's enough out there for everybody. I mean, we were there on purpose with another reseller and sure. they... They ended up getting, um, you know, times three the amount of weight that we did. And then, you know, we're surrounded by, you know, the shoe guy, the hat guy, the, you know, yeah, whatever. We have to update one of our hashtags, though, for me. It's um, to, from grab all the thingies to grab all the denim thingies. Because, you know, that's what I'm attracted to is the denim. But, yeah, I think it's a, a great opportunity. And, you know, there's other things that will start, you know, once spring gets here. <coughs> Uh, estate sales and yard sales and right. clearance sales. And you could argue that, you know, the average pair of jeans is probably around a pound and a half to two pounds. So your cost on those, in our case, would be around two bucks to maybe three bucks, maybe a little less than three bucks. Um, you, could all, you could argue you could grab virtually any brand, assuming the size and quality was good. At that price point well and we did a little bit of that too I mean we you know we we our targets are our regular brands that we look for but then right we all, you right know. we grabbed some other ones like I grabbed a pair of Raider jeans oh yeah I don't think I'd ever seen them before and I don't think they're super valuable oh let me grab them um, you want to grab them well we're, we'll hold them up because them. it'll take up the whole <clears throat> it'll take up the whole screen <laughs> so. yeah these are Raider jeans you hold them out I'll hold them so nothing fancy, but they are a size 4832. Um, that's probably a two and a half pound jean, so that probably cost around At three least. twenty-five, maybe. They're pretty sharp. But at that size, I think I might even be able to get twenty bucks for them. So probably worth it. Um, you know, not a huge desire brand. That's, but it's not a brand I've sold before. But I saw them and I thought, man, at this price point, it makes sense. Not like those Snoop Dogs I found the other day. Yeah, the Snoop Dogs. So, um, but that's that's pretty much it for the Ben's trip. So another great trip. I'm yep. sure we'll go back. Well, yeah.
If nothing else to shop for you. Well, there's that. I never find anything for me. I don't know why. Well, I guess I can wear me. the Adidas jacket, but I don't feel like it's me. Well, you could. Try no, it on. Don't knock it till you try it. All right, guys. Well, listen, that's going to do it for this video. So leave me a comment or like down below and um, consider subscribing here to The Big Show. Yeah, and, and invite your friends because YouTube is better with friends. <laughs> YouTube is better with friends. That could be a slogan. It could be. Let's 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 trademark it. YouTube copyright. is better with friends. I don't. I think we might run think, into a trademark. Have you heard it before? No. But um, also, you know, subscribe because that way you can get every video when it comes out. You don't have to go wait for it. So you can just check it out. Instant gratification. Instant instant prof sales and Karin. two for the price of one, and the price of one is zero. So that's pretty good. Freebies. Exactly. So if you like it, smash that like button. Smash it. Tell your friends. Watch it again and again, because these are so much fun. <laughs> and you're silly. They're awesome. It's awesome fun to make it. Yep, it is. All right, guys. Well, listen, that's going to do it for this video. So I hope you guys will join us again soon. And uh, uh, this is Karin and Prof Sales saying, saying good, good sales, sales to you. you.